Good morning, y'all. This is a great time to be able to see you again. We're so glad to see you. And we thought we'd bring a little bit of outside inside. That's right. We thought we'd bring a little bit of outside inside. So you see us, we're in the raft and we're ready to go. Are you ready to go? You think you're ready to go? Yes. I'm ready to go too. That's right. And this is an opportunity to like, share, send to a friend because we want to get the word out so we can all do this thing together. All right. Let's see if we can give them the countdown, Alexis. Let's do this. Ready? All right. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Good job, Alexis. Thank you for like, sharing, and sending to a friend because we want to get the word out that there is a great story that everybody can have.
The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story. All right, everybody, it's time to go get your Bibles. We're going to count down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job, good job. All right, we're going to read from Philippians chapter 2, verse 3 through 8. First, verse 3. three. Do not do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble. Value others more than yourself. Verse four. four. None of you should look out just for your own good. Each of you should also look out for the good of others. Verse five. five. As you deal with one another, you should think and act as Jesus did. Verse six. six, in his own very nature, he was God. Jesus was equal with God, but Jesus didn't take advantage of that fact. Verse seven, seven. instead, he made himself nothing. He did this by taking on the nature of a servant. He was made just like human beings. Verse eight. He appeared as man. He was humble and obeyed God completely. He did this even though it led to his own death. Even worse, he died on a cross. We are so glad that you have came today and you've just heard the story of how Paul writes letters to the church of Philippi. This is a great opportunity for us to really see why Paul does this and why he cares so much about people, because it's always good at this time to care for somebody else. That's right. You get to do that in your homes. You get to do that when you send a text message. You get to do that when you make a phone call or when you send a card in the mail to somebody. We all have an opportunity to care for somebody else. And so this lesson talks about humility. It talks about humility and it talks about what it means to put others first. Now we can all say that together, put one finger up and do it together. One, two, three, put others first. I think we can say that a little bit louder. Let's give them a chance to scream it to the top of their lungs. It's okay, parents. Give them the opportunity to scream. You've probably been telling them, be quiet, all of that. This is their chance to scream it to the top of their lungs. Ready, set, go. Put, Put others first. first. That's right. That's what this lesson is about, putting others first. And, you know, we have some opportunities at our house where we've had to put others first, right? Can you share, like, one time where you had to put somebody else first. There's me in the house. There's my wife in the house. There's my daughter, Alexis. And then there's my son, Marlo Jr. All right. So can you give us an example? What was one? Whenever I, um, my brother needed help getting his lunch, so I made it for him. Wow, you go girl. She was putting him first. Like you can help your little brother or you can help your little sister with their lunch. That's an example of putting others first. That's love right there. Let's give us one more example of what it means to put others first. To set the table for your family. That's right. Everybody's trying to rush to the table, but guess what? You can say, hey, ma, you don't even have to do that today. I got you. You could get the plates and get the cups and set the table and put others. Let's try it together. Ready, set, go. Put, put others, others first. first. That's right. You can choose today to put others first. And guess what? Your week will be an awesome week when you start to put others first. So make sure you reread this story. Read it to your parents. 
And as we go through this story together, remember to put others first. That's right. Thank you, parents, for listening. And we'd love for you to tune in next week. Thank you for joining us. See you next time. Come on. See, I won't 